Hi Virgo. Um, be careful of allergies this year, depending on where you live. Uh, they're rough. <laughs> Um, and that's, of course, I say that to you because as a sign who is so influenced by their body, your full moon really set the tone for what cycles we were really ending and the ones we were all beginning as far as Aries season goes. And the fool is coming out a lot. So first we have the Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, sorry, and the King of Pentacles in reverse. And it could be about this past month, especially the past week or so, could have been like a leading up to a reflection upon what it is that you've lost, what it is that you've gained, what it is that has been external, internal, what has been about how you maneuver as opposed to how you used to maneuver and your capability of seeing and allowing yourself to see in what Pisces season and now Aries season is kind of in a way forcing us to look at or having it really be become more in our awareness and in our atten attention of how we transition, how we decide to have courage, how we decide to take risks, how we decide to understand our own movements and this month is about you taking stock in that, you understanding that the only way forward is forward and that you don't have to constantly reflect anymore because if you really want to be done, it's time to move, like, like have this very deep awareness in the present moment, but not only with what you're doing and who you're around or what you're building it's more about like the values within yourself how you've always had these values but haven't really allowed them to play themselves out fully because of being underneath someone else or under someone else's system so to speak so even if you're within a structure if you work for someone or you you know live in a family or you have different fan like you know you have you know, certain lifestyle going on, there's a part of you that is very much demanding in your freedom to utilize your tools and your skills the way that you would like to, as opposed to what you've been told. And I think that that's a part of you that knows you can be told something and reach its height or knows you can be told something and you can keep going, keep going. But then when it's something that you really like to do because it's you who enjoys it or you who knows the qualities that exist within you when there's a challenge or something to be met this is again that yes you can do that but it's more about how you utilize your energy now and before you've done it in a way that makes sense to you you've done it in a way that like you can see up close and now from taking that reflective step back and understanding you have this capability to not fuck yourself over because of it um and just realize that things move certain things not everything is going to move slow right now but certain things move slow for a reason and it's up to you to understand that the things that are moving quickly it's important that you remain consistent with those things um, but not to, you know, demand perfection, but to demand what perfection looks like in the, the multitudes and the chain, the multitudes of that even. Because it has different sides. You know, perfection looks different for everybody. And it's up to you to decide that this time, if you want to do things right, especially money wise, especially con considering your value system, system and as opposed to anybody else's value system or your way of doing things, there needs to be this whole, if you're going to put your extreme anywhere, this whole willingness to continue to navigate that instead of thinking, oh, but when in the past I used to do this and it would go this way, but that is not what you're doing anymore because that structure has fallen way too many times. And you're someone who I know if something's not going right within the structure, you're willing to take it all apart and build it back together. This time, 
why don't we build it so you don't have to take it apart so many times, right? Like, that's what Capricorn says. Like, why don't we just go in, get what we need to get from this part to make this part better? You just take the tear things down because you put so much of yourself into it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But now you understand that the freedom gives you more energy to not have to do that and to actually take a step back like you did just now, looking on your life for maybe years and taking a heavy look at it and a heavy extent or extensive look at it I should say and then now you can utilize that in ways where you don't have to wait so many years because you decide you don't want to look at something now it's like okay I invited this in I know what this feels like so now how can I course correct when I need to and that's very mutable earth of you and the reason why I say be efficient with the things that you're good at and remain consistent with those is because then it becomes a part of your nature and you don't have to take another look at that all the time. That's maybe something you just have to do sometimes, but it relieves some pressure, it relieves some um, energy towards what really needs to be, what the, where the movement needs to be right now. And if you feel like you've been fucked over, just know that on the other side of it, that's you fucking over yourself too. It's the same thing when we make decisions. There's a certain accountability we have to take as individuals um, when certain things happen over and over again. That's just a deepening of our awareness and understanding. We're only human and you're only human and sometimes you may not feel that way because you're not asked to be that in certain relationships or certain ways, but you now know where you need the, that freedom to exist. That freedom to fail, that freedom to allow yourself to take apart those things because you do it anyways and it happens anyways but then you don't give you you know you keep that pressure on but there's this um understanding emotionally that you're going towards and you're learning to speak these values that you're not willing to let go of and they actually exist they actually make sense it's not just something you're saying because it sounds good or it looks good or it feels good. It's something that you've learned through so many times over and over again, falling into the this weird trap or falling into this depression or falling into this grievance about this again, about this thing that happened back then that reminds you of what's happening now. It's like you realize that this cycle has got to go, but you need to be content with yourself in order for that to go. So no matter where you're at right now, this is something I've talked to Sagittarius about, another mutable sign, is about understanding that your pranatva is this, this is what I've learned in my studies through yoga philosophy is that pranatva tells you that you're, per you're perfect as you are now, that you're constantly evolving into the more perfect part of yourself. And that's what I need you to remember this month and throughout this year, because when you could look at yourself like that as a whole, instead of these pieces that you're constantly looking at everything else as, or maybe everyone else as, it's time to reel that back and understand that that can be applied you can only you don't have to apply that everywhere in your life you can take that value and just put it there for now that those details that you're really good at could stay with work right now it's not about you you're not always a work in progress some may say that and that's fine i don't say that <laughs> you can be perfect right now and if you feel like a mess, you're the perfect mess right now. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with owning that because when you own that, this it helps things deepen. It helps you understand why you're saying what you're saying. You're not just saying things because you know it, you understand it, and it's something you know is profound and could hit somebody. No, this is something you're saying because you actually believe it now. You actually want to use it now. You actually makes you feel more content. It's not about you're moving out of this stuck place and becoming... This airy season is so good for you because it's really taking into consideration everything that you need to take into consideration, but it's only strengthening and sharpening your skills. But if you fucked up, it's really important that you own up to it at this point. You stop denying it. Just say you fucked up. And don't just say it because you know that's what someone else wants to hear. Say it because you mean it and be for real about it. If you don't really mean it and you're not for real about it, you might lose something, but that's on you and on the circumstance. Maybe something's gone too far to come back together. But by the end of the month and towards the end of the month, especially towards this um, eclipse in Taurus, 
you'll have no choice but to either to accept what is happening and accept what has happened and to really take this month and everything that's happening even though it feels like nothing like it almost will feel like nothing's happening but everything is happening because then Taurus season comes and it's your fellow earth sign and there's so much to do so much to play with and a lot that comes back around and hits you in a positive way that's why you want to play this out as honest and as honest as you can not just because you know what to say or you know what someone else wants to hear it's because you honestly just need to be yourself and not that you're not but you need to be yourself in a way that is content with who you are and where you're at regardless of what other people expect of you or have expected of you or will expect of you it's about what you can when you, what you can actually expect of yourself right now that's what i want you to think about what can you actually expect of yourself so you can give people this is what you can expect from me right now and you can hold me to that don't go higher don't go lower go right where you can because you can always add more but you don't always need to in certain places especially personally personally this month is extremely <sighs> empowering but it's also it doesn't come without everything else that's happening there's this very clear sense of when you feel good about yourself you can tend to try to attack all these things or go after all these things that really don't matter right now they might be a part of the long term but those will, and those will connect in the long term so maybe you write something out so that you can remember this when that time comes it's really important that you connect with that part of yourself this month because it's only going to help you feel so much better and so much stronger and so much more capable of yourself and what your skills can do. All right. The second part is where we take a look at the cards and that will be in the Patreon link below. All our other information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below as well. And I hope you have a good month, Virgo. We will see you in Taurus season.